Let's make a peacock today. Let's put our peacock down in our corner. Bring up the first shape. Um, I'm going to make it a little different than what you see on the board. Take that one, the tombstone looking one. Make it long. And then come up here to edit shapes and edit points. And all I did was take the corner and I just moved it in a little bit. And then the other corner and try to make it the same on both sides. And then I ha that's my feather. That's one of my feathers. And I'll go ahead first and set the default as black back uh, black outline. Okay, so I'm going to be making one, two, three, six more of these. So go ahead and copy and paste. Control C, Control V. Now um, this next grouping I'll probably make smaller so I'm going to copy and paste both of those and you can change the colors when you want and I'm also going to send them to the back when I finish with all of the feathers so go ahead and play around with those line them up as a fan bring them in You can put as many feathers as you want. You can layer them on top of each other if you want to have two layers. I'm just going to do a single layer. Make this one a little smaller. That one's a lot smaller, but that's okay. And then go ahead and color them the way that you want to color them. These two I'm going to make just a tad smaller. Okay, and then twist them a little bit. And go ahead and, and mess around with those shapes. Um, I'm going to be sending these to the back first. So send to the back. Then the second ones to the back. And then the last ones to the very back. Okay, then I have a circle for the body. I just made him fat. I know peacocks are um, skinny, but I'm just making him fat. And so go ahead and copy paste and make a head. Go ahead and copy paste. Let's make some eyes. White. Copy paste. Control C, Control V. Make little black eyes. Group together. Control G, Control C, Control V. And there's two of them. And then I'm going to group together. Control G. And then make them smaller for his eyes. As you can see, the nose shape is just a triangle upside down. So go ahead and flip it upside down. You make it long, short, color it any color you want. Make a long beak, short beak. Then I also made the feet also a triangle but I kind of brought it out a little bit and just stuck them on there you can do the feet any way that you want okay the next thing I did was the little um, things at the top and I came and used this shape I'm going to make it yellow and just make it any shape that you want and I'm going to make three of those and kind of put them together go 
um, selected all of them and then control G to make a group and that's the, the top and you can make them weird however you want to do it and the um, side wings I think I used this one down here maybe and I just made them very very thin but you can kind of do what you want to with the wings um, how you want to do them you can find other shapes that might work best for you go ahead and um, rotate horizontal so you have the same one on the same side yeah he does look a little fat all right, let's do the, um, let's find the circle, and we want to color that yellow. Let's do a brighter yellow, and then copy paste again, and I'm going to make that a green. It doesn't have to be in the center. Okay. Select both of them and group them. Make it a little bit long. And go ahead and put them on the feather part. Now you can make um, the feathers all a different color which I'm going to do right now. So I'll just turn that one, the green, every other one is a green. And play around with the colors. It'd be nice to have a purple one. I think peacocks are just very pretty the way that they are. And there you have a pink peacock. Uh, let's see, his head was up a little further on that. So that's good. Group it together and go ahead and save it into your animal file or bird file, whatever file you have.